Today's video is brought to you by The Short Iron Store. With two Fort Worth locations and an online presence, they can help you about anywhere in the continental U.S. Hey, welcome back to the Improvement Channel. Today I'm excited to get started on a small welding table or a large welding cart or kind of an accessory table. I'm going to put a lot of features on this that I'm excited to have here in the garage. Let's get started. So I've got all of them even here on the end. And the idea is I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these legs the same length. Now I'm going 31 and 3 eighths because I'm going to put a six inch um, casters on it. So that's what size works for me. That size works for me because I've used that height on my existing welding table and I find myself wanting to stand up all the time when I'm doing my welding. All right, everything's cut up. That's the cross members. Here are the short cross members to go the other direction. And then over here on the saw are the other cross members. That's too many cross members. So those cross members to my far right are the legs. Those are the ones, the short ones that are gonna go across. Uh, it, it's all real confusing. So let's get these sawed up. I thought I had them all sawed up, I didn't. Here I'm knocking out some of the uh, pieces that I'm gonna use for drilling holes through for the casters. Here's the tabletop, we'll get that up out of the way. That is a quarter inch thick top, which is 6.5 if you're working in metric. Uh, here we go, getting my WD-40 out in a little drill press and docking some holes in it. I lost the footage or just didn't record it, not sure, but um, I want you to know I did take a second to weld all of those together just so they would all um, not, I wouldn't have to worry about any of them moving, just put a little couple tacks on there. Okay, so here we go. We're already putting those uh, feet on the bottom. So getting that knocked out, that's a lot easier to do now before the feet are welded to the table. Uh, you can see I've got me a little one by four there and two shims, I've got two composite shims there, getting it at just the right height so I can get those all tacked in. Now we're getting them all welded up, which is uh, going pretty fast because this is regular speed. I'm just really fat now. Getting these all welded up, a um, little bit of the same thing, so we're speeding that up for you. So hopefully it's not getting too boring. Uh, I will go on to tell you the size of the top, other than being six and a half millimeters and a quarter inch thick, it's also a two foot by four foot, which is 61 centimeters by 122 centimeters. And my other table that you see that it's sitting on top of is a four foot by eight foot. So it's a very large table. Um, I've got this welded up the other day. I'm doing the voiceover for you guys now on it. And I'll say I've used it on another project already and it's been very handy to be able to uh, maneuver this little table around and uh, work in conjunction with the larger table. So you'll get to see that on the next project where I build a uh, fence post puller that's electric. So make sure and stay tuned for that. It can also be used to pull up shrubs and things of that nature. Please make sure when you're doing your welding that you tack things in like I'm doing here. I have certainly learned that the hard way where I'd weld things in and figure out that, oh, that's not right or something's wrong. Uh, even on this table, I welded a, a leg that was the wrong, wasn't the leg, it was something too short. But luckily, I had only tacked it in in like three places so it was easy to remove and fix and get going again. But uh, while I'm getting all of this put in extremely square and perfect, I want to uh, talk just a little bit about today's sponsor, Short Iron Metal Store. They have two locations in Fort Worth. They carry mostly structural steel items, uh, but they also carry like aluminum and some sheet and plate, expanded metal, that kind of thing as well. They carry uh, tube, uh, DOM stainless or seamless tube. They carry ERW, chromoly, pipe, bar. Uh, they also have C-channel and beam. They carry full lengths of up four foot to 14 foot. So when I say full lengths, what I really mean is uh, not full lengths. So those are a lot easier to handle than the 20 and 24 foot stuff that I've had delivered before because I really have no way of hauling that from a previous supplier. I much more enjoy getting stuff cut to length so last month alone, they did 10,000 free cuts 
and I am just glad that I'm not the one cutting it nor counting how many free cuts were done last month. So it helps, you know, you get here, you saw me cutting, I had some four foot pieces there that I'm cutting down to 38 inches. Well, I can throw all four of those on there at one time and cut through all four of them and get them all the exact same length versus cutting them one at a time and then going back and cutting them a little bit off again would probably be the best way of going about it. You know, that saves you money because lots of places are gonna charge you a dollar to five dollars if they'll even cut it for you at all. Um, I wanted my larger table to be a little bit smaller than four foot by eight foot and it was not offered to cut half inch plate where I was buying it from. So anyway, you can see I got the casters installed. Everything is uh, ready to go. I always like to round the corners off. Um, that will, you, you'll figure that one out real quick if you don't think you want to round it off and figure out, you know, that you do once you catch your hip on it a couple of times. Uh, I'll put a link in the description on these casters. Uh, like I say, I've done another project with them already. I love them. They are awesome. You can see here I'm begging you to subscribe and give the thumbs up because that's really the only revenue generator for this channel is the subscription model with YouTube and views. So any help you can give me on there is greatly appreciated. Hey, there's our finished product. Looks pretty good if I don't say so myself. We'll catch you on the next one.